goodness. Six hours of sleep is no good. And there's so many weirdos here. Daytona Beach. Hello, folks. Welcome back. I'm the one, the only hobo, Tom. I'm going to be quick about this. This is my SmackDown review. Mainly because I'm exhausted. That's six hours of sleep. A whole day of work. Did some shopping. Uh, went to the gym. And I have to be at work in a little bit more than 12 hours. That means I need some sleep. And I have to hydrate myself. If you're an amazing red wine and pizza Friday. But before I do all that, Chunky Boy! You, sir, have earned that six count. And ladder match, you have earned the dubiousness of being that luchador in a forklift.
So let's start off this show of SmackDown, which, by the way, was much better. Again, not having karaoke night was good. Overall, the matches were actually pretty good. The main event was a main event match. They tried to correct where they screwed up last week. I think just that hangover from last week's SmackDown was intense. The fact that you know you have to go sit to sit through a horror match at Extreme Rules, <laughs> and the thing you're looking forward to the most is Slammiversary tomorrow night, which I have to get a computer set up for. Shoot, get off of there! Oh, just random stuff. Put that stuff in the chair. But with this SmackDown, it's actually pretty good. Uh, starts off. Normally they have one long 10-minute segment. They got smart. They broke it up. Um, it did take a 10 minutes, but because they had five, actually six people doing little segments, it felt choppier. It felt more broken up. It didn't feel like 10 minutes. Again, it's always good to see when WWE learns something. I'm AJ Styles did a promo. Matt Riddell called AJ Styles. So what does AJ stand for? Arrogant jackass? Yeah. Guess what, Matt Riddell? AJ Styles was having five-star matches. Well, you were, like, trying to, like, not to lose to people in MMA. So, boo. I was never that big a fan of Matt Riddell either. But, I don't know, that's just me. Daniel Bryan came back. I guess he's just awaiting the birth of his second child. Um, Alex the Bliss made an announcement. Miz and Morrison were there. Again, you have all these people doing little things. It seems shorter, at least. You know, it's the same kind of match time. And the first match we start off is Big E. I'm sorry, folks. I am just tired. I got like six hours of sleep. Got eight hours of work, ended shopping, went to the gym, had Papa John's pizza, and they changed their crust because it tastes different. And of course, red wine is not going to help. No matter how much caffeine I ingest, like, <laughs> and we'll get to caffeine ingestion in a little bit. But this match, Big E versus Cesaro, this is actually pretty good. Uh, Big E is a big clothesline to start off the match. They go to the outside, Cesaro, he gets driven into the, into the post. Again, probably the hardest part of the ring because that's metal. Uh, Big E, they get back in the ring. Big E, can you go into the post? Again, post, probably the hardest part of the ring. Cesaro, that double axe hand. Oh, it's so fun to see old school wrestling moves like that. That the nostalgia is a drug and a half. Um, from the top rope, falls up with a... Follow-up slam, that was good. Try it for the second time. No, he just jumped into a uh, belly-to-belly suplex by Big E. And Big E hit the second one. That was pretty good. Um, Big E with a clubbing blows, a splash on the apron. Fun stuff. Exciting. I don't think there were any real wrestles. That was a stretch muffler and the sharpshooter, sharpshooter or figure nine. But those are known submission moves. It's not chinlock mania, which is Good. Uh, Big E and the clubbing blows, the big splash of A-Prime just said that. Uh, he also does this. He tried to go for the spear. He eats the boot from Cesaro. Cesaro is smart. Cesaro went, then went for the gosh neutralizer. The stretch muffler. And then Cesaro countered that into the swing in the figure nine. When you have counter wrestling in action like this, there's no need for beach balls. It's chinlock mania is when beach balls should get involved. Cesaro just doesn't like beach balls, though. Then eventually there's distraction, Nakamura. Ooh, excuse me, got a kick in. Uh, Cesaro gets the gosh neutralizer. Cesaro wins. Um, they try The heels go for the table spot. Kofi eventually gets to the table first. Hmm. Even though I didn't have this on my on on um who are these predictions. This this was Dr. Tom's that was interrupted. Indeed. 
But also, you know what? Cesaro and Nakamura get those belts. It's a tables match. It's a gimmicks match. Don't win the belts. I don't think anyone else is... I haven't talked to them, but they've submitted their match cards. I don't think anyone else is switching titles. So. I'll tell you about one title change. So we'll go with the math. The heels kind of look weak. We'll get the belts. Um, again, this match, I'll tell you what. It was a good match. It was a good cheeseburger match. And we have King Corbin giving his interview. And actually, this show actually seemed kind of short because I was shocked. Because I think the next time I looked at the clock, it was like 9.30. I'm like, oh, in event time. Then we had, let's see here. Moment of bliss. Bailey and Banks come out. Uh, and confirm. Nikki drinks. Nikki Cross drinks way too much coffee. Because Alexa Bliss, point blank, said, Nikki, how many nitros did you have? And that's that new coffee where it's made with nitrogen. And Nikki's like, one, two, three, five? Yeah. Five coffees is not good for your health, Nikki Cross. Even though Nikki Cross looks amazing. And she's so pretty. And I'm so jealous for 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 Big Demo. I wish I lived in Scotland. Uh, then Bailey and Sasha Banks came out. But Oscar was the main guest. Starts off with a brawl. Um, and they went to go, go do They went to commercial. Ellen Bryan shows up a little bit more on the Matt Riddell AJ Styles match. Eventually, we're going to see Daniel and Bryan and AJ Styles in the ring again. I hope. So we have the holla 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 play. I'm almost too tired to do the Teddy Long shout, but we have Nikki Cross and Asuka. Interesting match. Interesting team. Taking on Sasha Banks and Bailey. Nikki. She goes Nikki. Except for Nikki took her vest off. And oh my. That sports bra. And those, those, those all naturals of Nikki. Let them come on. Play, baby. Um, Nikki looks amazing. Um, Bailey did something. Yeah, Banks and Bailey, the, the heel double team. Um, Asuka eventually gets in. She gets that hip attack in. Okay, Nikki Cross in the sports bra is amazing looking. She's so pretty. She doesn't need makeup. She's another one of those wrestling women that don't need makeup. Makeup spoils Nikki Cross for some reason. Um, Asuka eventually uses Nikki Cross's apron technique. And then Nikki uses Nikki's apron technique. Once on Bailey, once on Sasha Banks. That was kind of fun. Uh, Bailey gets caught. A Scottish headbutt to the solar plexus. Oh, this is fun. Um, cross eventually missed the cross body. Bailey wins, but by dirty pin. So that means I think Asuka's winning. Nikki Cross isn't. And this sets up for something. And I'll tell you what. Oh, that was something else. Oh, yeah, that shot of Bailey's ass. Wow. Kevin Dunn. What can I say? This was a fun match, though. It was nice to see Nikki team up with Asuka for a change. It was a little bit different. Um, the fact that Asuka used some of Nikki's techniques in this match was fun. It was a cheeseburger match. Then we have the Miz and Morrison, yep, talking about uh, what happens with a hero and his friend. Yeah, it does not happen in real life. Um, uh, 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 Bray, oh, I, have to, I have to be careful when I talk like that. We might have broken Tom show up. Do not want that. But yeah, Bray Wyatt like, shows up along the Tomoko River. So that's honestly what it looked like in the swamp. Um... Who knew? Who who knew he would live that close to me? But that's okay. 
then we have John Morrison versus Braun Strowman. I'll tell you what, John Morrison tried, but Braun, I'll tell you what, this is Braun Strowman's promo moment of the year, because that was amazing. It looks like they bullet, they bullet pointed some things, said, say this like you freaking mean it. And this was actually good. Between the promo, he came out, he destroyed John Morrison. Um, he did the toss, the beal, um, some toss thing. Uh, Morrison on the ground, he literally takes his boot, which looks like a legitimate real swamp boot. A real hiking, real hiker construction boot. Grinds his heel into the jaw. Just like choke slam on his toss, toss him around. Does the head and arm choke. Transitions out to the power slam. Squash match. But it was entertaining enough. What did John Morrison do to deserve this? That's what I want to know. I know the Miz. He got, he got beat up by his wife on, on YouTube verbally. While playing video games with his buddies. Uh, Maurice just like laid into him. That was funny to see. Again, the one good thing about working from home is that on your breaks you can watch all kinds of nonsense on YouTube. But yeah, so I don't know what Morrison did to deserve this. But he got squashed. But this was entertaining. It was with it showed purpose. I still think Bronson Bronson's gonna keep that title until the fiend shows up. I'll tell you what, I enjoyed this thoroughly. This is a cheeseburger squash match. And then Lacey Evans taking on Naomi. This was a quick match. Uh, not quite the 29 second match, but it's a kind of good back and forth. Between the two of them to begin with. Uh, turns out to be a shoving match for a while. Um, I forget what happens because I was in the bathroom. So it actually took most of my bathroom break. Which, if it was a true woman's 2007 match, I'd be in the bathroom and the match would be over. So this actually took longer than that. She, Lacey Evans pulled a Yano. I'm mixed about this because she tied... Naomi's hair to the ropes. Only one other person in all of wrestling would do a stunt like that. And that's Toro. Yano. Break, break, break. I mean, if Lacey Evans starts undoing turnbuckles, I know where she, where she got her inspiration from. Um, from there, as Naomi gets her hair untangled, she turns around, eats a woman's right. She goes to sleep. Lacey Evans wins. A ham sandwich mash. Then we have Jeff Hardy doing a promo. He eventually gets jumped by Sheamus. I think, you know, we're going to have that barroom brawl match. Um, Bailey and Banks do an interview. Then we see Nikki and Alexa by the practice ring. Uh, Nikki then sees and hears Bailey and Banks walk by. She just jumps Bailey. That's great. <laughs> Nikki Cross kind of should be kept on a leash. But that's that's a whole other issue. Then in the main event, we have AJ Styles versus Matt Riddle. This was actually really good. Um, AJ and Matt, a really good exchange to begin with. Uh, Riddle has his knees to the ribs. He gets AJ kneeling. Knees to the ribs looks vicious. Goes into a Fujiwara armbar. Again, just being vicious at Fisherman Suplex. AJ eventually drops Matt on the ropes. Is that monster bomb thing I think I saw earlier? It's not the blue falcon bomb. It's like the blue thunder bomb almost. Except for instead of twirling him, he drops him face first. Like a, I want to say, and again, if if you know, feel free to correct me in the comments. Send me an email. I want to say it's called the monster bomb, but whatever it is, it looked pretty cool. It's a uh, belly to back suplex reversed reverse body to back suplex I guess or monster bomb either one um, AJ Styles again that, that he catches a kick by Matt Riddell that dragons through a leg whip then he works over the legs 
torquing that knee. Ouch, that knee joint is not supposed to bend like that. Riddell hits a Northern Lights. But again, AJ still goes after his knee. And his knee, his one leg. And then Riddell counters by just delivering knees to AJ. Uh, the bro to sleep. But AJ eventually kicked out. Um, AJ went to kick Matt Riddell. Got a counter to a German suplex. A great counter wrestling match. Very, when they did, AJ had one chin lock in. And I swear it was just to say, listen, I do need a couple seconds to, to breathe. And, and you look like you're gassed too. So let's just take three seconds. Out, out of a half hour, I'm fine with that. It's when they, they transition from this uh, to this to, to this. Oh, yeah, we're going to do this again. I mean, if they're going, if, if they need, if they get gassed and blown up, I understand. Okay, take a couple seconds, catch your breath, figure out what you're going to do next. They didn't do it the whole time. Again, it's that one, and they transitioned from it, too, which was really good. Um, AJ hit the brain buster. Oh, that's still so good. And that, that like, pop up, that neck breaker of his, that GTS neck breaker. Oh, it's so awesome looking. Uh, Matt Riddell eventually puts in the bro mission after AJ had him in the calf crusher for a while. It's reversed to the bro mission. And it's reversed to a pinfall. AJ's a smart wrestler. He's like, hey, everyone else does this. I might as well, too. Um, they shake hands. AJ Styles win. I'll tell you what, I enjoyed this. This was good. This was getting to near New Japan level styles with AJ Styles. It's a surf and turf match. Then uh, after the handshake, Baron Corbin comes in from behind, just takes out Matt at all. I'm fine with that. And I was shocked. That's the end of Raw. It did not seem law. It did not drag out. There was no ridiculous segments. A lot of wrestling in it. I was happy with it. Bravo, WWE. You learn from your mistakes. It's time for me to get to sleep. So that being said, tomorrow I'll be here to do my anniversary. Remember, I'll show a little bit more clips. Cannot show the whole thing. They've gone smart to me, unfortunately, and I want to save all my zonks for Triple Mania. And then Sunday, I have to work, so I'll be a little bit late for the horror show as well. And then it's a normal week, which I'm so happy of, except for Wednesday is my second day of judgment. That's a whole other issue of mine. With all that being said, I'd like to thank everyone for watching. Oh, I did just set that computer.